I'm not gonna lie when I lost mine I was 17 washing down there you could wash. I just don't think it's healthy I don't think it should be a thing What's up you guys? It's pal and welcome back to my channel today. We are doing a girls talk We're doing a girls talk. So I have been wanting to film a girls talk video for a very long time Like two years already, but you know what today? I'm gonna sit down. I am going to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one, heart to heart conversation and we're gonna talk about girl stuff. So if you're a guy You don't have to watch this video. I won't be mad also, guys, I got my hair blown out literally yesterday, and it's already freaking frizzy as heck. As heck? It's frizzy as hell. Before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up for me. It will help so much with the algorithm, and I will really appreciate it. All right, now let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so for this girl talk, we're... Not me saying you guys. Okay, you girls. <laughs> we are going to start off kind of smooth into it. We'll get to the juicier questions later. But I did get a lot of questions on how to be more confident about self-love and questions like that. So let's get into it. How to be more confident. I feel like what helps me be more confident is kind of knowing what I bring to the table. If that makes sense. Not in like relationship wise or like, you know, just in general. What do I bring as a person? what makes me valuable as a person so let me like explain we're all different right i'm gonna point myself out for example i think something that adds a lot of value to me is just the kind of person i am and knowing that i'm a good person that i have a good heart that i am a kind person and have good values i feel like that makes me boost up my confidence and this is not looks this is not about looks i'll get into looks later but i think that makes me more confident because i'm like you know what anybody that's in my presence is going to appreciate that and they're going to know that i'm a genuine person and that just makes me that much more valuable so i think everybody should look within themselves and see what are my strong suits what are things that people are going to like about me that and not only people are going to like about me what are things that i like about myself you're gonna be like you know what like i'm really like i'm an amazing person you know and that really like boosts your self-esteem when it comes to looks first of all <laughs> we need to stop comparing ourselves and i do this to like i am i'm kind of bad i need to stop but i compare myself to people too but the thing is when you compare yourself to somebody you're always going to lose because you're never going to compare yourself to somebody that you think is i guess less than you you're always going to compare yourself to people that you think are better looking and better this and better that. So you're always going to lose no matter what. So you're putting this person up here. You're comparing yourself. You're never going to reach that if you're comparing yourself. At the end of the day, somebody else's beauty is not the absence of your own beauty. We're all different. We all have our flaws. And then also doing things for yourself that make you feel better. For example, I just got my nails done. I feel more confident already because I'm like, okay, like... You know, like, this is cute. This is making me feel good. I'm doing something good for myself. Getting your lashes done. Getting your nails done. Getting your eyebrows done. Which I need right now. <laughs> but doing stuff like that really does help you feel more confident. Also, clothes that suit your body type. We all have different body types. And certain clothes are not going to look good on me. But certain clothes are going to look good on me. And same with you. Finding how to style your clothes for your body type. And finding what fits for your body type. I think that will make you feel more confident as well. Because you're just doing things kind of the way that it should be for you and also affirmations i think really do help as well like you know what look in the mirror be like i am beautiful i am confident that is gonna boost you up at the end of the day confidence is about how you feel inside you just kind of have to change the way that you look at yourself and it takes time and it takes practice and i do believe in faking it till you make it because you're not always gonna feel like that bitch but if you start to believe it and start to think of yourself in that way you're eventually going to start seeing yourself in that way so yeah you guys let's move on to the next question so somebody asked a really interesting question they said have you ever felt in competition with one of your friends and i am going to be honest i have felt this way but for me i have never felt that way initially i have felt that way after a person put me in the position where i felt like we were competing where they kind of compared us and kind of made me feel less than with certain things that they told me that made me feel like oh shit like I didn't know that this was a competition. Let me come, <laughs> not let me start competing, but I started feeling that kind of, I guess, pressure. And whenever I feel that way, I have to stop talking to somebody. I just don't think it's healthy. I don't think it should be a thing. I know that um, it's kind of, it's not inevitable, 
but it's very common because I feel like it's kind of human nature in a way want to you know be the best and be this and be that but whenever I do have those feelings I think the best thing to do is to step away step away from the situation because it's not healthy for you it's like it's not doing anything to benefit you and at the end of the day, I want to be in competition with myself and I don't want to be in competition with anybody else. Okay, now we're going to go into some hygiene questions. So somebody asked, what do you do to avoid smelling down there? So our body has a natural scent to it. And at the end of the day, you're never going to smell like flowers and roses. But there is things to do that are going to keep your hygiene in check and that you're going to, you know, smell fresh with. So let me tell you guys, washing down there, you could wash with either water or with like unscented soap. Never wash down there with like fruity, like scents, no type of scent. No, like nothing f with fragrance should be going around that area. I think uh, unscented soap is really good. I'll put like a picture right here of the one that I like. Washing that area for a good three to six minutes, like go not in there, but go like in the area i'm like how do i say this without getting demonetized this is the area so you could go like around and like you know you don't need anything up in there girl you'll be good your vagina cleanses itself so you don't need to stick anything up there another thing whenever you go to the bathroom i suggest either using uh, what is it called a bidet i suggest either a bidet which like sprays you water or using like wipes not baby wipes like special wipes that you use to wipe yourself after the bathroom i would say carry the wipes around with you carry the wipes around with you forever for whenever you need to go like in public or if you're gonna be out and like sweating throughout the day i don't know if you got like a appointment later like just carry them just in case you know <laughs> that was so random also taking care of your body from the inside out or from the outside in drink your water cranberry pills are also good or cranberry juice but i think the pills are better because it's less sugar going into your body and you know eating healthy at the end of the day you are what you eat it really is true you are what you eat so if you're eating like mcdonald's freaking taco bell like super greasy super unhealthy fatty foods like every single day super sugary drinks soda like juice every single day it's going to reflect in other parts of your body and also another thing if you smell really really bad down there that is not normal and you most likely have an infection it is normal to smell down there because obviously it's a body part you know we sweat if it's been a long day like it's not gonna smell as fresh as it does whenever you just finish cleaning yourself there are normal smells but then there's also certain smells that are not normal and natural and that might indicate that there's something going on with your body. Oh, okay. I this question I really like because I am kind of not I'm kind of passionate about this topic. When do you think is a good time to have beep? S E X. I think that that is something that you should save for when you're more mature, like more mentally prepared and more mentally equipped for stuff like that. I'm not going to lie, when I lost mine, I was 17. So I'm not going to be over here saying like, don't be doing it until you're 21 plus. I would just say, you know, be cautious. If you are younger, try to wait as, as long as you can. You know what? The longer you wait, the better. And another thing, what I believe in is doing certain things with people that you really trust. And people that really value you as a person and people who really care about you. I, and I know that hookup culture is very much normalized. And, and it's very normal for people to have sex like with just a lot of people like people they don't know people you know like i feel like it is very common but if you can i would stay away from it and i'm not judging anybody i'm not here to shame anybody you know at the end of the day yeah everybody's body your body your choice but i'm just speaking for what i believe in it is a very intimate thing that i feel like should be more sacred just because at the end of the day a lot of the times at least for women i feel like a lot of women end up having these relationships with people where you know they'll have sex and then they won't feel fulfilled because that man doesn't care about them and that man was just using them for it and they end up feeling like just bad because that is a very 
huge exchange of energy so especially for women they get like the worst end of it you do you with your body but just keep it in mind keep it in mind and again i'm not here to shame you i'm not here to call you a whatever do what feels right for you just take care of yourself and yeah okay the last thing i'm gonna touch on on this girl talk i'm gonna do more girl talks in the future so i'm gonna you know be answering different questions later on this is just part one i want to make this like a little series do it once in a while answer your questions so i'm not gonna get into like all the different topics that there is because there's so much to talk about with girl talk like girl we'll be here for hours if i talked about everything but the last thing i'm gonna get into right now is body hair i'm gonna tell you guys what i do i have tried laser on my underarms and it did work okay but i think that i didn't go as often to my sessions i didn't really end up working in the end so now for my armpits for example i'll wax my armpits and then for down there i do wax uh like the outer parts the bikini line and stuff so all the like outer outer stuff but then when it comes to like the actual hair, like the Brazilian wax or whatever, girl, I'm fucking scared to do that. I just know it hurts. I've tried it on myself and I was in the worst pain of my life. The girls that can do it, girl, I salute you because that shit is fucking painful. It is really, really painful, but I'm sure it's worth it. <laughs> I just can't do it. So for those hairs, I just use like a little trimmer that trims it down basically so there's like almost no hair it's it doesn't get as close as an actual like shaving down there but i notice when i shave it's just more uncomfortable and then when you get ingrown hairs you feel itchy and it's just i don't know i just don't like it so i rather just use a trimmer i'll put a picture of the one that i like i rather use a trimmer because it does get pretty close like there's barely 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 any hair i do want to try out laser down there uh same thing though i'm kind of scared but I just know laser from what I've heard is the most effective but you just have to go to a good place I think mm, but yeah you know what if you don't want to shave if you want to let your hair grow bro do it like at the end of the day hair is hair we were born with hair so it's kind of meant to be there but I know that a lot of people don't feel comfortable with it personally I feel like I would not be comfortable like going out with like my legs super hairy but that's just me at the end of the day I also like when my legs look like nice and smooth it's a personal preference so whatever you want to do you do you and yeah guys so that is gonna be all for today's video I hope I covered a lot of the things you guys wanted me to talk about if you guys want more girl talks I am really down to do that for you guys these are so fun to film because I feel like I get to speak my mind on a lot of topics and it's just very interesting but yeah you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time